just driving up to the cemetery now, Paul. And this this feels like Ard Finnan. This could be Irish, apart from the fact I'm on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, this looks like a nice, oops, a nice church at the end. The cemetery, I believe, is up at the top there. So I'm going to have to put the camera down. It does look like Ireland, though, doesn't it? Now I'm going up the road and... Jesus, this is spooky. This, this looks like going up, up to Granny's house in Ardfinnan. If I'm right, this cemetery should be way around the corner. Oh my god, that's so spooky. There it is. Okay, this is the cemetery, so it's just the corner part, looks like it's the uh, local kind of municipal cemetery. It's Bovis, Bovis West Communal Cemetery Extension. Okay, this is the um, cemetery register, Bovis West. And he's there. This is just a plaque that's in the uh, that's in every cemetery marking the battlefield, just so where we are. We're just uh, south southeast of Amiens, so we're literally let me have about there. So this is right here, so it's behind the front lines. Turns out he's in this uh, section, which is in the main cemetery. Well, here's his grave. 423-00 Bombardier, P. Cody, Royal Garrison Artillery, 24th of April, some additional information. This, this cemetery is way behind the lines. So um, it was those who died in hospital came here. And it's interesting from uh, the one beside P. Cody and almost to the end they all died on the 24th of April 1918. So all these guys died at probably in the same place Actually, just taking another look, <laughs> and all these ones that are killed on the 24th, bar one, so there's about eight, are all the same uh, Royal Garrison artillery. So again, all the same as P. Cody, and all died on the 24th, which is an interesting. So maybe he wasn't injured. Maybe he, it was one uh, a one-off incident, and they were all killed. On either side, it's got Lieutenant, and that sounds English, Aubrey Ferrer Smith, who was aged 37. And on the other side, it's just R.C. Cartmel. Just look around the, uh, the whole cemetery.
but still active. Okay, this is a line of uh, French soldiers. It's just below the uh, British and Canadian section, but they all died um, similar time, end of April, beginning of May, uh, 1918. Okay, just back to the extension part, where I threw it for a second because I couldn't find his name. Um, all of these are, are August. It's the 12th, 13th of August, the first dozen are the 12th or the 13th of August, 1918. Okay, just walking down the line again, and I found this group. These are the same regiments, the Royal Garrison Artillery. And they died the 15th of April, 1918. So it's curious that there's two big groups killed, or who died rather, on a single day. So my guess is there was some event on these particular dates. And the whole gun team were killed together. Because you've got gunner, 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 it's captain. And there's a sergeant, all the 15th. Now this is a curious uh, cemetery. It's called the Crucifix Corner. It's only a couple of well, as a crow flies, it's probably about mm, eight, ten miles from babies. But then there's a memorial here. It refers to the defence of Villiers Bretonot on the 24th and the 25th of April 1918. Interesting. Okay, this is the uh, Arras Memorial, which is. Uh, Quite spectacular, especially at this time of the evening. Looks like something from Greece. So this is the main um, cemetery with the marked graves. I believe John Rossiby is day 10. I've been reliably informed that this is very difficult to find. Well, I can see why. There are hundreds of machine gun corps. Gun Corps. That's cavalry. Motor. Machine Gun Corps. Oh, this whole thing is. Lance Corporal. Wow, this is hard to find. Oh, brilliant. There he is. Where's he gone? There he is. Shame, Marker. Hey. Okay. 